can see that, but that's rain. Wasn't supposed to rain today, but luckily I think it's just a couple isolated cells. I don't think it's going to do much, but the day is not looking. It's off to a bad start already. Georgia called, holding bins plugged up over there, so now we're heading over to clean some pipes again. Oh, the joys of farming. Well, on the way over to the grain bins, I passed a truck bringing a load of seed, so I guess I'm going back over to unload a truck load of seed. Uh, Dad's helping George over there. Fingers crossed they have it fixed before I get done with the seed delivery. That would be perfect. Well, there's some of the corn for this this year. Just need some weather now. Alright, looks like we've got three Sea Consultant corn hybrids this year. 1087, which we had last year and did really well. Just wind equipment. Wind equipment on. Uh, 1139. I think we might have had that last year. I'm not 100% sure. And 1158. So we'll see. Hopefully they're all good hybrids. Unfortunately, they're not done with the bin, so. Heading over there now. How's your day going? Good. You got a booger right there. Well, I'm not half. Oh. I'm in a position not to wipe. <laughs> Well, I think that's fixed for now. We'll probably be back over here in a couple days. This is quickly shaping up to be a rain day. The reason I, I'm not going after fertilize now because there's a lot of rain in the radar or on the radar. Looks like it's probably going to rain in the afternoon and uh, it's supposed to rain tomorrow too. So we don't really want to leave that fertilizer sitting on the truck for a few days. Um, Dad's putting on 28 right now. Uh, a little bit of rain is good for 28. I would have ideally would have liked to have got all the 28 on before this rain. That uh, it'll help take that 28 down into the ground and get it to the plant. But uh, yeah, it's not shaping up to be a good day. It's not near as nice a day as it was yesterday. All right, uh, they're supposed to be bringing a load of fertilizer over to the tanks on this farm. I'm going to go uh, fill up uh, the the uh, nurse tank we filled it up yesterday bring him and our little fertilizer and then i think i'm gonna haul some corn until we see what this weather's gonna do okay folks here we are starting 2019 wheat top dressing this is pretty sandy soil up here so it's uh, pretty good shape got the auto steer working working pretty good run all last summer there with the beans with no auto steer but we finally got it updated that guy updated it got everything working pretty good on now it's got automatic shutoffs on it it gets to the end where it's already been sprayed it shuts everything off then you pull around here where you get your line about lined up hit the button it should take over. Steer and it'll line itself up and uh, the booms will keep come on when it gets out in the wheat that hadn't been sprayed. Put in 20 gallon on this first shot. Wheat's pretty small but uh, got late planting but it's uh, according to our wheat guys it's going to do okay hopefully we get the nitrogen on it. Get this shot on and we'll put some dry on hopefully today. Trying to rain sprinkles every once in a while. Okay, we've about got this field done. And it points off, there's 41 acres here, and it points off so the booms will start turning off, turning on in these point rows. I'll try to show you a picture of the joystick. We put a new joystick on it. The handle here, we thought that's what was wrong with the GPS, but that wasn't it. So as you can start telling, it's green, the top buttons are here, turn the booms five sections off. So it'll start turning red here when it starts shutting off. 
Okay, there's one section. We're getting into point rows. There's another section. And it just keeps going right on down until we get out of the into where we've already applied. Just there, they're all off. And I usually shut the main one off. The bottom one is the main pump. It turns the pump off and on. So when you turn sometimes, the daggone thing will uh, dribble some out. In some places it'll come back on, so I don't want to double it. So then when I get lined up to the line, I'll turn the pump, pump back on and I'll hit the button and it'll line itself up on this red line and that's the guidance. Then uh, when I get back into the where it's not applied, well then it'll start turning everything back on. Works pretty good. Saves a lot of uh, product. Don't double up on stuff. So we've got a couple rows here that's going to come on. looks like we're about done. All done. This field. On to the next one. You just want me to take us over to harnesses then? Okay. Well, Dad's radio is working on a spray all right. That's going to prove to be a lot handier than I was expecting. Uh, there's always questions like that. Where do you want this tank at, or where do you want me to meet you at? So yeah, it's going to be it's going to be nice. down here we gotta go over to the railroad and it's uh, kind of low I think it's like 10 uh, 1310 and we're we get close to it we're pretty close if this got hydraulic suspension on sometimes if it sticks it'll raise it up and it'll be pretty close yeah Brian I'm just heading down the road And Brian showed up, brought me some 28s. So we're going to fill up. I'll show you how we're going to change farms. We're in a different field now, so we go in here and it tells you a job. You give it a job, the existing job or a new one. So we want a new job, so we'll go in there. And so we got the farm in there, field. So we go to the next screen gives you the rate and everything it takes a while sometimes there it is now we'll change the product how much we're putting in the tank and we reset it at 1200 for what it usually fill this tank will hold uh, 1400 but I usually just fill it to 1200 so that's the way we do it that's the way everything working there so Brian's got it all hooked up plumbed up filling us up well I came over here to take that load of corn to town and uh, as soon as I got here, I was told to go after a little fertilizer after all. So now we're going to go get fertilized. This time I'm leaving before anyone can tell me not to. All right, we're heading out. Yeah, we are raccoon free this time. Looks like we're not the only ones putting on 28 on the wheat. Neighbors doing the same thing. in we've got our order ticket so now he's gonna go back here and give us a ticket to the guys that run the blender and uh, get loaded up all right this building right here it's where they've got their blender they got a computer in there they punch in what they want and they got a big loader that goes to these bays in this building Gets the fertilizer, put in the blender, goes on this conveyor into my truck. All right, we're loaded up. We still got a good way out, and then we'll be uh, heading back over. Man, I thought we were the only ones that had elevator problems. That's their receiving pit for fertilizer coming in on the rail. It's all tore apart. All right, I didn't get this on camera, but this is too good not to share. Coming out of Washington Courthouse, there's a pretty large berm on the side of the road over here. There's a red Chevy pickup pulled over there, and there's some little old lady, probably in her 80s, all hunched over, walking down the road, picking up tarp straps. Her husband's sitting in the truck. Wow, that was not what I was expecting to see. 
Well, we just got back from getting that load of fertilizer. Cargill's close, so I can't take that load of corn in there. Um, we're going to be taking that fertilizer over to those grain bins, dump it there on the black top, and then loading it with a loader bucket. The loader, we've got to we got to do a little bit of modifications to. So we're heading over to do that now. Hopefully, we can get that spread tonight because it's supposed to rain. Uh, I think we're supposed to get rain a little bit tomorrow. So that can't be right. It's got to be from where my truck's been in the sun and it's warm, 73. I mean, it was 30 degrees and I was wearing bibs earlier. What kind of temps are you guys all seeing? Anybody getting any dirt work done or anything like that? I'd say, depending on how much rain we get tomorrow, we're probably a week out from being able to maybe put like a vertical tillage tool in the ground. And that's only on like part of it. I mean, some of the ground's very saturated, it just depends on the soil types. But I'd be curious to know if anyone's uh, been able to get in the fields any. That's what's left of the cut heads off of that. Got a new one to replace it. But that one was, uh, that section has been welded on there. And the other one was just bolted on. So they get it off there. As it turns out, that thing is really welded on there. Well, let's go get another grinding wheel. We got her this time. Took entirely too long. Turns out that uh, we're probably not going to spread that uh, load of fertilizer I got tonight. I forgot we've still got to calibrate the floater. That's something we couldn't really do till we had the uh, till we had the fertilizer. So I'm going to do that, and that's probably going to take a while. Neither one of us really know what we're doing. We don't do we don't spread enough dry fertilizer to really I don't know make this a seamless process. So it's untelling how long this will take. This thing does have an air brake, so right now I've just got to sit here and let the air pressure build up a little bit. It's kind of like a semi in that regard. Now I know earlier I said we'd be dumping this on the ground and just filling it up, but uh, since we're not going to be able to spread this all tonight, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, we're just going to open the coal chute on the back of the dump truck, use that bucket throw it in up to a calibration. Couldn't find a place to stick this camera, so had to put it down. All right, what we've got to do here is, I don't know if you can see out here, but Dad used the loader bucket, cleared off the ground. There's a flag. There's two flags spread apart 80 feet. That's how far we're spread. There's one right in the middle. We're going to go right up the middle through there and spread it. So we kind of see the pattern. We've got uh, some, I think they're egg, egg, uh, egg cartons or something like that. We're gonna lay down that so way we can catch that fertilizer. And then we're gonna put it in this device that kind of shows us how even we're spreading or how uneven we're spreading. And then we can adjust the fans, the thinner speed to uh, even that out, and make a couple other adjustments if we need to, I think. Remember, I just became an expert yesterday. What we were doing there was getting the uh, product density. You need that to know that so you can kind of keep track of the rate you're putting on. Time to your buddy, Hobbs. Huh? All right, I guess what we're using is, or look, they look like ice trays. But as you can see here, we've got them scattered out equally, equally distance all the way across there. Just getting ready to run through it. So let's see what we got. All right, he's definitely overspreading a little bit. No, what about this? We got a little funnel. We need a funnel. Okay, it's got a bunch of dirt in it. This is kind of representative of our spread pattern. All the fertilizer that we collected from those ice trays we put in here. This side was uh, had a little bit of overlap from when he came back around, but I don't know what you think. How's it look good? Well, we should have run another pass or two to get more. It looks like we're just a little thin, just right out from the tires. Which that's why we're going to double spread it, isn't it? Yep. 
I don't over here see there wasn't as much because we didn't lap. Yeah, that was this was just, just right here. Pass, yeah. yeah. See, so this has got okay. double here. So yeah, that's right. We're shooting for 80 feet. You're probably throwing what 90? It probably is. 95 maybe. Well, another day has came and passed, and uh, yeah, we didn't get any fertilized spread. We did get the wheat top dressed. About all that was dry enough that could be top dressed is top dressed. The first shot, so we still got a lot of dry fertilizer to put on. It's supposed to rain tonight and all day tomorrow, I believe, so I'm not sure if that'll happen tomorrow or not. Just have to see. But uh, thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Brian's Farm Videos and Facebook at Brown Farms. Also, we have a website now, Brian's Farming Videos.com. Uh, if you want any of the merchandise or anything, if you don't have Facebook, you can get it there. Um, a few people have asked about larger sizes shirts, uh, 3 and 4X. I got a voicemail from my apparel guy. They should be, I mean, they're there. I just got to go pick them up. So they should be on the website any day now. And we'll see you tomorrow.